Today it is my great privilege to be with Veronica, who has offered to share her insight and wisdom in an interview. Good afternoon, Veronica. Hello, dearest friend Linda. Do you have a story to share with us where you went from fear in your life and turned it around to faith? Oh, there are so many. Um, I think at my age, Linda. However, um, to share one or two specifically, a lot of my fears I really experienced and noticed on a profound level was when I was doing ministry abroad, away from home, away from comfort of the telephone, the house, support system, friends, and so forth. And when doing ministry work, for example, in Egypt or India, very, very challenging and it's when I really felt I was tested by God to see if I could not only hold myself together but to hold the ministry together and to make it all come to be with different nationalities and languages and uh, just totally different and um, so specifically I'd like to share um, one of many experiences I had in Egypt um, doing ministry when I was building orphanages there and bringing people together and donations, money to make it happen and um, supplies, just bringing all of this together. And the, um, the framework I was working in, my infrastructure, was so different to America or to England, say. And I was dealing with people doing things so differently and just learning to flow. Um, and so many times you just want to th throw your hands up and say, I can't do this. It's not going to happen, God. Uh, send me back home and bring somebody else in. But there always came a stirring within my heart. And when I was praying, God would say, child, wait. I have chosen you to do this. It will happen. It may not happen in the way that my old picture frames would be or from five years earlier, say, or even a year earlier. I had to really move into just a deeper level of trust, of knowing that the right people would come into my life, that this would happen. And um, when our car would run out of gas on a bridge in Cairo in the middle of the night and we never knew how we were going to get home, sometimes we got home, we didn't have the key to get in to sleep, where we were going to sleep. I mean, just so many, many factors. But always God would say, my child, I am taking care of you. I am taking care of you. And so the walls, like the defenses, just like fall away. So you just keep surrendering and surrendering, not knowing what you're surrendering to. There's no outer framework. There's no phone to hear words. Um, there's no instructions. One just has to go deep into their heart and say, God, I'm trusting, but you've got to give me a sign soon because I'm running out of faith. So, um, and the fear never really totally left on each mission abroad. But as my faith deepened, I could anchor into an experience from before, whether in the same country or different country, and just know something would happen or someone would come and show up or a package would happen, just what we needed. And the faith is so unbelievable when you're on that journey because the faith just grows and grows and grows. And you don't know how, and you don't have to understand it. But you know that there is a mysterious force behind it all that the fear, yes, it's real. I can share and journal my fear. However, the faith 
becomes so much stronger that it's like a wave eventually takes over the fear. So, what a beautiful story. Thank you. And I love when you share about your, your ministries. What my takeaway is, and correct me if I'm wrong, no matter how much fear you have, don't give up. You'll grow the faith you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Absolutely, Linda, that is correct. And that's an excellent word, Linda. You grow into it. It becomes like a new skin. You can't see it or touch it, but you feel inside it's happening. And um, uh, maybe that's how the potter is developing his clay, you know, <laughs> through the skin of the clay. Um, and when you look back months and years later, it's awesome. It's just awesome. And really, there aren't words to express it. One just has to go through the experience of it um, for the reality of that beautiful transformation from fear into faith. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's always so fun to hear your stories, and, and thanks for being a part of the World Day of Prayer. I know you're inspiring so many. Oh, thank you, Linda. It's just always such a joy to be with you and to share with you. You inspire me very much. Thank you.